Can you get money for your business using angel investing? You sure can, and in this training, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do it. We're gonna talk about what angel investing is, how it works, and how you can actually tap into this as a way to get money for your business. We're gonna talk about the inside secrets that angel investors don't want you to know. We're gonna talk about things you could do to get the most money from angel investors, two types of angel investors, that one of which most entrepreneurs know nothing about, and I'm gonna give you all the ins and outs to be able to get the most money at the best terms from angel investors. If you stick around to the end, I'm even going to get you access to our funding vault full of 27 killer ways to get money to grow your business. We got a lot to cover, so let's dive in. What is angel investing and how does it work? Well, angel investing is the process of actually getting money from private individuals that are investing money into your company. Now, there's really two types of financing that's out there. There's what's called debt financing and there's what's called equity financing. So debt financing is when you take on debt to actually get money. You get a credit line, you get a credit card, you even get a loan. And equity financing is when you exchange equity or ownership interest in your business in order to get the money. So the angel investors and venture capitalists fall in this equity category where what they want in exchange for giving you money is some kind of ownership in the stock of your company. They want to own part of your business. Now, venture capitalists are further along in the process. They're typically for when you're producing revenue, even when you're producing profits, they actually will invest millions of dollars and typically want a larger stake of control in your business. But angel investors are kind of on the opposite side. They're really good to help you start an initial business. You can actually come with a concept or an idea and a lot of angel investors will jump in at at that stage. Now, they're not going to put in millions of dollars. As a matter of fact, most angel investors are investing less than $50,000. So sometimes you need one or even multiple angels to give you the money that you need to get your business off the ground. The other nice thing is that angel investors don't take a large percentage of ownership in your business. Venture capitalists sometimes want 30, 40, 50, even 60% ownership of your actual business. But angel investors, you typically can get to invest in your business for less than 50% somewhere, sometimes even as low as 2%, 10%, 5%, or definitely less than 20%. So they need less ownership interest in order to invest, and they don't typically require a seat at the table per se. And what I mean by that is that when you get further down the road and you deal with venture capitalists, they typically want a seat on your board of directors. They want to control the decisions that you're actually making. You don't deal with a lot of that with angel investors. Angel investors will typically give you the money and give you the leeway and also sometimes give you guidance, but they don't necessarily require a seat at the table being a part of your board and actually dictating and overseeing the decisions that you make. There's two types of angels that you should really know about, one of which most entrepreneurs know nothing about, and they're actually called affiliated angels. So when we think about angel investors, we oftentimes think about going, you solicit, you pitch to an angel, and they give you money. And those are typically through unaffiliated angels. But affiliated angels is where the majority of capital in a startup business takes place. Matter of fact, 75% of entrepreneurs get money to start a business from family and friends. And those family and friends are called affiliated angels. So when we look at an angel investors, the first and most popular type are affiliated angel investors. These are people that you know. They're people in your circle. They're family members. They're friends. They're people in your circle who would be willing to invest money into you and whatever business you're seeking out to actually get started. Now, unaffiliated angels are people that aren't affiliated with you. They don't know you. But here's the thing. These two play off each other very well. What I mean by that is that unaffiliated angels typically don't want to invest in you until affiliated angels are already in. And if you watch a lot of Shark Tank or if you watch a lot of other shows such as Undercover Billionaire, you'll see this exact same theme that carries through. That people that are angel investors that are investing in the early stages of business oftentimes like to see that other people have already invested. Because let's be honest, if people you know, like, and trust are willing to invest in you, then that goes a long way to show people that don't know you that you're trustworthy. But if nobody in your own circle circle will invest in you, then people that don't even know you are a little bit skeptical. So when you're looking into angel investing, the first thing you really want to do is go to your immediate network. You want to get to the people that you know. You want to get to them even with small donations to actually be able to contribute money and get some kind of ownership interest or something in return for actually contributing the money to your business. Now with that in hand, it's easier to go to unaffiliated angels, show them that you already have affiliated angel investors invested into the deal, and often 
oftentimes get them to invest. You'll oftentimes find that a lot of unaffiliated angels absolutely will not invest in you or your business if other people aren't there first. In that community, it's often seen as a really bad thing to try to invest in a company and be the first one in. Okay, no, a lot of angels don't want to be the first one in. They, for one of the first questions they want to know is who else is already invested? And when they know that other people have invested, then that actually paves the way for them to be comfortable to invest in you and your business as well. So how do you get money from angel investors? Well, one of the first things to do is you want to put together a well-defined business plan. Now, there's all kinds of ways to do this. I found an app called LivePlan works really easy. It's a really easy service to be able to do this, um, and it's very affordable. So that will actually walk you through the individual components of a business plan. If you want to learn more, you can go to credits or youtube.com forward slash credit suite, and there you'll actually find our training on business plans so you know exactly how to put one together. Now, once you have a well-defined business plan, you want to put together a pitch deck and pitch decks don't have to be complicated as a matter of fact at youtube.com forward slash credit suite we have training on putting together a pitch deck as well your pitch deck should in include information like your demographic information that you're going to target how big is the market that you're looking to go after who's your competition how do you plan on marketing and selling what's your revenue projections all the information to give a potential investor an idea of what the business is going to look like once you get it off the ground and what it's going to look like as you grow once you have those things together, well, then it's time to start soliciting investors again. And one of the easiest ways I found to do it is actually putting together a video, going through your pitch deck, putting that on an actual website or a landing page. Then as you talk to people, you can just direct them to that landing page where they can input some information, access the video training, and then you can follow up with them to see if they're interested after they've actually reviewed the training. It's one of the easiest ways that I've seen to actually now do it. Now, don't get me wrong. You can go actually pitch angels face to face. The problem with that is, is a lot of angels are chilling in Silicon Valley. So if you're not in that area, it's harder to come into a place where you're actually pitching face to face, unless you're lining up a lot of these different appointments in a place like New York, LA, Silicon Valley, where a lot of these investors are. So you typically want to start with your business plan. You want to put together your pitch deck. You then want to go to the affiliated angels around you, and they very well may be able to give you all the money you need without going to unaffiliated angels. When it comes time to move to unaffiliated angels, then you really have to do some research to find find the ones that are in your targeted industry. Look, a lot of angel investors tend to stay in the industry they're comfortable with because they think they can provide value to the entrepreneurs they're investing in in that actual industry. So if you're in, for example, financial services, well, it's completely different than raising money if you're in the trucking industry. So once you know the industry that you're going to be starting the business in, you want to do a little bit of research to find angels in that area that invest in that industry and then go and solicit them. Now, again, there's a lot of different places places to find them. You can easily find them with the Google search. And there's a lot of angel investing networks that are out there as well that are full of different kind of angels. But again, way easier to find the exact angels that will give you the money that you need when you know the industry you're in and you're targeting angel investors that who specifically invest in that industry. And there you have it. Now you know what angel investing is. You know how it works. You know the type of angel investors to pursue. And you know exactly how to go about getting the money that you may need. You want access to even more cool ways to get money to grow your business, grab our free guide on 27 killer ways to get money to grow your business. This is our funding vault that will give you a lot of different options and you can grab it at creditsuite.com forward slash 27 ways. That's creditsuite.com forward slash the number 27, the word ways. Also, make sure you register for a free consultation with us because on that consultation, we'll actually qualify you for all kinds of financing you may be able to get right now. We'll actually pull business credit reports with Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax Experience at no cost, go over those with you and give you tips and tactics to be able to build your business credit. And we'll do a fundability assessment and help you build your business where it's fundable to help you get the most money at the best terms. You can get that consultation by giving us a call at 877-600-2487. That's 877-600-2487. Emailing info at creditsuite.com. Or you can also schedule online at creditsuite.com forward slash consult. Did you get value from this training? If so, make sure you like and subscribe and keep your eye out for our next training where we talk about more cool ways to get money to start and grow your business.